is this working? I'm using this pause video making app and I can never tell. It is, it is working. Um, today I need to organize my studio. Yes, I know I do that all the time and I think it's gonna work, but I have to explain to you the new plan. I know this is the newer plan, not the newest plan because I'm gonna have the newest plan at three o'clock today. So we'll go with the newer plan for now. And I will explain it to you. But I have to turn this thing off. Can I turn it off? Pause. This, for lack of a better term, is a clusterfuck. And I think I can patent this using that name. And now you can buy two clusterfucks Pay only shipping and handling because uh, it's not working as well as it once did. But in here, in the selfie stick part, which I carefully connected to the gooseneck lamp, which has extra weights added to the bottom, is will be where this thing will attach right in here. So I can look down on my drawing. There we go. Look at that. So let me get a new piece of paper. And I will get, use this pen that just came via eBay to me. It has a little tiny chip somewhere. Oh well, it doesn't make any difference. I have lots of little tiny chips and none of them are that tiny anymore. They're all big chips. This is a pen that is a Johnny OneNote kind of a pen, which goes from one to maybe two, but it has a little bit of oomph to it, but you have to, it won't go any more than that. So anyway, here's my studio. I've drawn this many times for you. It's essentially a square and it's divided into essentially four general areas. We'll start with this, the, these are the windows. Here's the entrance. So this half is the creative half. This is where I make things. This half is the show and tell half. And meet customers. So, as you know, now I have a stalagmite in the middle of my room. I have my drawing desk where I'm sitting right here. Here's my prehensile butt holding onto the, the stool I'm sitting on as I speak. I have a table here. I have my computer desk here. I have other stuff around there. Here I have bookshelves. Here I have the Queen Mary, which has my table that I meet customers, clients at. So they sit here, I sit here, we chat about the project I'm going to do with them. And there's, you know, the Normandy is here, there's bookcases here. Bookcases here, bookcases here. These are, you know, books that are facing into the show and tell and meet customers half. Books and, and whatnot. There's 
going over the stalagmite to the window area is a shelf suspended above the the northwest passage so I can walk from here to here but above me are objects that are on this what the hell was that objects I just put a sack in this pen and I just filled it and maybe the sack didn't hold it was a sack that anyway I'll deal with that later but that could be what happened it up again. It seems to be fine. The, um, where is my, what is this? This nib seems to be pushed in a little further than it maybe should be, which makes me think it might be cracked behind here. But I'm going to leave it just the way it is, because it works fine, except for that little drop, which it'll teach you. Don't gesticulate. Okay, so what I have decided, this is what I've decided. Here's my cunning plan, my new plan. Over here, I now have a big filing cabinet, which I moved from here to here. And this is going to contain finished drawings because right now everything is all over the place and I can't draw wangs, ings, drawings and samples of art of graphic design that I show my clients. I used to have this thing here which was the right spot for it but it was didn't fit on the Normandy very well so I moved it here. Okay so and over here I have filing cabinets that are full of blank pieces of paper. See, this is where, this is otherwise divided into two halves as well. The creative side, this is, this will be the raw creative, meaning undone, unfinished, unstarted even. Unstarted even, stage left, this will happen here. On this side, you know, above here, as well as in this filing cabinet and stuff, are art that is done, that is finished. This is above here will be supplies for art that I will make. For example, for example, I have a box full of objects that I will use to make hats with. That will go up here on this side. When I make my hats and I'm done with them, they will go on this side in a different box. You see? So if someone comes in to me and says, Peer, where's that hat that you made? I'll be able to go over here and find it rather than stand here scratching my ass trying to remember where I scratching my head or my ass chances are my ass will know more than my head will but rather it'll it'll aim me in a direction you know once I get here where my hats are I may not know but it'll I'll go there here and in this area is where my books are, my resource materials are, and what I want to show my clients. Here are more books. This is the entryway, which is sort of crowded and everything, but that's here. On top of this thing, see I've changed things around a little bit. On top of this thing, on top of the Queen Mary, I have how the Queen Mary contains. Um, things that I need, including right up here in this area, are things that I will use to make art when I go outside. Here French easels, my portable chair I take with me when I go out to 
uh, urban sketching. Um, that will be here. So it, I don't have to search for it here. It's right by the exit to my outside world, which every once in a while I visit. So that's, that's again, the plan, uh, the overall plan. This side, raw creativity, blank pieces of paper, supplies that I use to make art. Here, my computer, my scanner, my printers, this is where things get finished or are finished and sorted out and displayed. I have, for example, in this area right here, I have way high up, I have my finished artwork that I show at Open Studios or that I showed at Open Studios this year. I may have different art to show next time, but this is all stuff I will that are, that's done. This is done. This is to do. This is, this, this is the thinking area. This is the, con the concept, concept. And research and development, all my books are here. Most of my books are here. Research and development. Um, so that's the plan. I'm so it's sort of divided into four halves. Each half is divided into four halves. Um, the entryway doesn't really count as a as a. So it's divided into thirds. Uh, there was a woman that wrote an article about my house, and she said, "Like Gaul, like Caesar's Gaul." It is divided into thirds. Um, one for customer, one for creative, one for computer, I guess, is what that was all about. Look at these teeth marks. Is that teeth marks? No, it's tape. Tape marks. There's goo here. I thought it was teeth marks. But this was taped together in the box that it came in. Um, I hate when they do that. Especially when the tape, when people tape cardboard boxes, you know, that have original erector set illustrations on them. Let's just tape them down before we send it. Um, so anyway, that's the plan. I'm, you know, I'm. It's hard for me to remember where I put things sometimes, but if I can go into a, like right now I'm looking for a laptop computer that I own, that I use, and I haven't used it in a while because a couple of its keys don't work. So I have to ex put a, ex a external key thing on it. and. I am thinking maybe it's in Minneapolis. Did I bring it to me? Some there was a little tiny brain cell that suddenly kicked in. I'll have to call my brother and see. Anyway, um, that's the plan. What do you think? I'll be, if I can get to the correct quadrant, my my job will be half done. Then, you know, is it in this box or that box or this drawer or that drawer? That's something else. I do have, there's, I've moved my tools over to this thing, hammers and screwdrivers here. They used to be here. It's going to take me a while to remember. It's not necessarily the, the best spot for them, but that's where they are. Um, this table here. Uh, is where I'll build, do framing and build hats and stuff. My pen repair area, which right now sp spans the, oh, the continents, it's everywhere. It's like the British Empire, you know, little pink sections. Here they are up in the corner. And then 
but they own a chunk of Africa and all of Australia and Canada's over here. My pen repair department is like that. It's everywhere, but I'm trying to move it to right there. I'm going to move all of my pen repair stuff into this movable cart, and I can sit here, and my friend that sometimes visits, he can sit here, and we can fix pens and talk to each other. Right now, he's, he fixes, I fix pens, and he fixes pens over here, and this is where I'm supposed to be drawing. This is a no-fly zone. The only thing that can be here is a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, or brush. No. This area is for creating things that use hot glue and screwdrivers and Windex, etc. Framing and stuff. That's here. Computer stuff is here. This is where I have my ink. I used to have my ink over here for my printers. I had to get up and walk over here, but now I just reach back and grab it out of that little cubby hole. So if I can keep these these three areas straight, that would be good. This area tends to be the catch-all where things go this way or that way or out. Um, this is always going to be sort of a in flux kind of an area, but I'm going to try to keep I'm going to try to, when I move something from here, let's say it's a book, does the book go into this shelf, or into this shelf, or into that shelf? I'll try to put it where it belongs. I also have shelves over here, and up there, and over there. So, try to, right now, all of my books are right here, in a big pile of books that haven't been shelved, and I'm trying to put them in the right quadrant. And then I'm going to try to remember where I put them, because, for example, that computer, I've looked for days for it, and now I'm thinking I may have brought it to Minneapolis. Some little tiny part of my brain that's saying I left it there. Now, Let's see if I fix this pen. I, because it's a pen I'm not going to sell to anyone, because who would want it, for one thing? I put a sack on it that, I have a bunch of sacks that are sort of weird sizes. And, you know, it fits. The sack that could fit in here should be a little longer. But see, is this going all the way in or not? I think it is. Come on, get in there. So now let's talk about this pen for just a second, now that we figured this out. Why does it... why is it so wet. Why did it do that drop? See? See the drops that it can make so easily? Um, you know, normally I won't do things like that. I'll remember not to, but it sort of surprised me. There might be something funky about that nib. Something tells me that this nib, that might supposed to be this long is maybe broken off, which often happens with these pens, usually right at that little juncture where that meets the section. There are weaknesses that happen. I don't know if it's corrosion that happens. It's not supposed to happen, but, or if the pressure, I mean, clearly that's, if it was going to break, that would be the area that it would break, because that's where the pressure is. Stresses. I don't know. It's a mystery. But here it is. I like the clear glass bases sometimes.
sometimes I don't, but I, I like it in this case. So this, this is the plan. If you are here, I'm going to frame this, I think, and put this on my wall so I remember where I put things. I have to talk to the people in the tiara department. About this tiara because as you can see it becomes a unibrow. Uh, a bejangled, bespeckled, bejeweled unibrow. Which... Oh, please. What just happened? Fuck. I don't want that to happen. I'm just trying to think of how to even describe my anger at the moment. At the ineptitude of this particular app designer. That's not supposed to happen. Like, how am I, when I'm taking a selfie with this thing, how am I supposed to even know how to stop the thing? The end.